Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the 2013 Gotland Game Awards! My name is Ernest Adams, game design consultant extraordinary to the University of Gotland, and it is my privilege to serve as your master of ceremonies tonight. Before we begin tonight's awards, I would like to contemplate for a moment on the legend of the phoenix, the mythical bird which disappears in a flash of flame and is reborn new and different, but still the same in certain ways. And I think this legend is particularly appropriate for us this year because that's exactly what's going to happen to the University of Gotland. Hogskulapa Gotland will disappear in a flash of flame, well, perhaps not flame, um, <laughs> in uh, 25 days from now. And the next morning it will be reborn as Universitet um, Uppsala Campus Gotland. Um, new, different, and yet still the same. We'll have the same instructors, the same students, uh, the same buildings, and so it's a very exciting time for all of us. The Legend of the Phoenix is also appropriate, I think, for some of your student projects, <laughs> which um, three weeks ago when I was here looked like they were about ready to disappear in a flash of flame. <laughs> and um, now that I've come back, they seem to have been reborn, fresh and new, um, and yet still the same. So. Um, uh, you've done a wonderful job. And finally, you yourselves are going to disappear in a flash of flame. No, no maybe not. Uh, <laughs> but the graduating students, those uh, third years who are leaving, the fourth years uh, uh, who are leaving, um, will stop becoming students very soon, and overnight you will become game development professionals. You know, you will uh, stop thinking of yourselves merely as students and you will be, be pros. And I have something to say about this in particular. You know, we've had a very interesting time, a very enlightening and I find um, inspiring time at, at the conference over these two days. And we've been discussing, of course, diversity. And we've also been discussing the concept of, of what is a real gamer and what is a real game developer. Well. Um, I founded the International Game Developers Association just about 20 years ago, uh, about this time. And when I set it up, one of the basic principles is uh, there are no barriers to entry. You are a game developer if you say you are a game developer. So those of you, once you uh, stop being students, um, you will become professionals, even if you don't have a job, even if you don't have a company. And don't let anybody tell you that you are not a game developer. You're a game developer if you say you're a game developer. Take pride in what you have achieved and what you expect to achieve in the future. And speaking of achievements, um, the last thing I sort of have to say to you on kind of a serious note here is that the honor of a teacher does not really come from the teacher's own achievements. The honor of a teacher arises from the achievements of their students. And so, from what I have seen out there uh, over the last couple of days, you have done me honor, and I'm grateful to you for it. So, enough with seriousness. Are you ready? Awesome. All right. Well, um, to begin tonight's award ceremony, we begin with the award for the first year students, and it will be presented by Andrea Hesseler from Play and Grow. Um, so this is my first time uh, serving as a jury here, and uh, I've been extremely happy to be here and uh, very, very impressed with the games that I played. Uh, how innovative they were. So, uh, yeah, really well done. <laughs> I think you should give yourself a hand. Uh, and the nominees are...
Thank you, everyone. Firstly, for giving all the wonderful feedback we've been getting. Uh, first of all, well, secondly, I would like to thank Kent Jung, who's not here, working his ass off last three weeks during our crunch. Uh, and also Jonathan, Jonathan Kiel, Kiel, sitting somewhere here for our music. <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> lastly, all the ones we've neglected during our insane crunch. Thank you, everyone. And now the award for the second year students, presented by Sarah Lempianen of Stardall. Hey, um, it's been an honor being here. Um, very fun meeting everyone, seeing all the projects, meeting all the people, networking. I've been very impressed by the students, how focused you've been on, you know, keeping the mechanics very simple and, and focusing on having that player um, get a good player experience through your gameplay. So, very good job. Um, so, the nominees for the second year are... Special thanks to Adam Ace and uh, Håkan Mattsson, who helped us a great deal in our development process. And uh, Ulva as well. <laughs> uh, and I don't have so much more to say. I hope you <laughs> will like to go hunt out and hunt goats. <laughs> The next award tonight is for Best Graduate Project, and this is going to be presented by Heidi McDonald of Shell Games. Lots of people ask me, what's it like to work for Jesse Shell? And I always tell them one story, and that story is, that one afternoon he bought a turn-of-the-century penny-farthing bicycle, which is one of these bicycles that has one very huge wheel and very, one very small wheel, and it's about six feet high. And on a Friday afternoon, he gathered the whole company together for the explicit purpose of watching him attempt to ride said penny-farthing bicycle around the office indoors. <laughs> um, after about three tries of getting on the bicycle, he got on the bicycle and he did a triumphant lap around the office only to crash heinously into the wall. <laughs> I bring this up because when he failed, everybody was like, oh, we respected him for the level of failure <laughs> that he demonstrated that day. To whoever is about to win this incredible honor, I congratulate you very warmly. But to those of you who don't win, here's what I want to say to you. Sometimes failure is more important because you learn a lot from failure. And Jesse Shell, he displayed that courage. He got on the bike, he banged into the wall in front of everybody. He failed spectacularly. And in this industry, what I'll tell you, don't be afraid to fail spectacularly because of what it teaches you, okay? 
So go out there and fail spectacularly. <laughs> I want to say also that I've been incredibly impressed by the games that I've seen here, and I thank the university so much for this opportunity to have been here. Um, I want you all to enjoy this night and to enjoy each other because this is a very important moment for all of you. And with that, the award. testing the game and giving us valuable feedback on all the bugs, problems, ideas, everything. And uh, well, this is my last year, so we won't be competing with this game here anymore. So you'll, <laughs> you'll get rid of us this time. <laughs> but thanks. Okay, we've moved up through the years. It's now time to present the awards for uh, achievements in particular categories. And the first award is the Kaching Award to be presented by Derek Burrell of the University of California at Riverside. Uh, th this is great because it just reminds me of home Hollywood. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, this has really been inspiring um, to see the dedication, the time put in, um, the, the communal spirit of creating something together, something that matters. Uh, I, I'm so excited to be here and uh, let's, let's go ahead and give this board away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for all the money, the Cha-Ching Award, all the money. Let's show me some money. Show me the money. <laughs> Big money for Little Warlock. Well deserved. Well deserved. Bringing card games to everybody. <laughs> Yay! Every year, the Almadalen Library also presents a special award, and this year, the Almadalen Award is presented by Cecilia Herdenstam. And by me, Rosemary. <laughs> And Almedals Biblioteket loves games. Uh, we love the stories, the adventures, 
the puzzles and the magical worlds that you, great, great game creators, developers, create. <coughs> Uh, since uh, 2007, the public has been able to borrow video games at the library. At that time, it was also possible to come to the library and play. And we were dreaming of offering games created here at the university, next door. And now, soon, that dream is coming true, because it will be possible to, for library users to come and try out the amazing games created by you students. Yes, this prize is called the Library Prize, and the winner gets to show the game at the library. Mm. Uh, and uh, we want the game that wins to be user-friendly, fun to play, with well-developed graphics, and with a great adventure waiting around the corner. The nominees are... Thank you for loving our game. It's uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Thank you. Our next award is a little bit different. It's dedicated to a single individual. And I will let Professor Stephen Batchelder of, the, of uh, Convergent Media come and explain it. come here and I've been doing it for a while and in the audience and amongst the jury I see alumni and when we look at the games that are done uh, they're always incredibly impressive and what we look when we look to what the alumni are doing it's even more impressive so it's a great honor to give away this prize of the alumni of the ward 2013 or 2013 Gotland University and uh, without that I will continue here um, this alumni is the program director of the game design education at Southern University, but she wasn't always program director. She came to Gotland University as a student in 2001 as part of the first class of the first game education in Sweden. Being bright as she is, there were some problems. These were early days and a proper game education was not yet in place. She found herself on an island in a class consisting of five female students and 25 male students. So she couldn't help but reflect on the presence of the male gaze and the lack of reflection around her in the classroom, in the industry, in the game worlds that she entered. So this prompted a call to arms and together with other female class students, classmates, they formed the organization Super Marit. And Super Marit provided direction, reflection, and clarity, and it worked towards deconstructing the objectification of women so commonly found in games. <laughs> That's a good time to applaud. Thanks. They sought to make change and explored it inclusiveness and empowerment. They did workshops, seminars, in game jams. They held, um, they gave fellow students and young girls on the island an alternative to an otherwise predominantly incompetent, incomplete, and incorrect portrayal of the world that we all are a part of and that we so lovingly participate in in the computer games that we play. I would like to thank her personally for her influence 
that she had and the influence of Super Marit on the education, the advancement of the education, and the maturity of the education. Since then, she has brought a, worked in a series of inclusive projects working towards deconstructing typical concepts and stereotypical portrayals of what is otherwise known as the other. Um, she has brought her, this has brought her to Umeå where she did her licenciat. It has also brought her to San Francisco and to Palestine. Now, nine years after her graduation here, I would like to say, thank God those days are over. <laughs> but I'm afraid that when we and other universities like us open the doors this fall and we look at the students coming in, the differences won't be there. And this is alarming and this is fact a problem because the fact that the number of female students attending these educations is low is actually influencing the culture that we call game design and also the industry. So I can only urge, I can only urge this year's alumnus to carry on with her influential endeavors and hope that we can work together to move things forward. So without further ado, the 2013 Gotland University Game Award goes to Annika Olofsdotter Baristrup. <laughs> say that it's such a great feeling to be here after nine years again. And um, this education was extremely important to me. And as, as someone mentioned or said, I don't remember who it was, it was my special snowflake in life. So thank you very much. And it's so great to see that this game education has become so successful and fantastic. And that you have so great creative students. Thank you. And now the Students' Choice Award is presented by a very special presenter tonight, no less than the leader of us all, the rector of Gotland University, Erika Sundström. Thank you. Well, the leader of us all is perhaps too much to be said. But anyway, I'm glad to be here and I'm even more happy that you are all here. And I'd like to start with echoing what the lecturer uh, Derek said this morning, that he understands and I understand how much work it is to organize a conference like this. So thank you all that have been involved in organizing this. At Gotland University, we're really proud to have this event every year. And um, now for the award. I really... you for loving our game. Um, we love that you love our game. Uh, this is really amazing being a first year and getting an award at TGC and uh, 
yeah, we're, we're proud. We're really proud. So thank you very much. Our penultimate award tonight is the Innovation Award to be presented by Will Bonner from Yeti CGI. Innovation is a mindset that has a place in every industry, but it has a special place in this one. I mean, we get to spend our careers inventing new ways for people to have fun and then making it. That's really, really cool. It's also really, really challenging because there's so many other people out there doing it, and they have been doing it for so long. I mean, there are hundreds of thousands of other games out there, and yet there's still some that stand out, that touch us in ways that affect us for the rest of our lives, that make memories that we cherish with people that we love. And just like in the real world, we've seen some tremendous games here over the past few days. Um, I can't believe that I've been fortunate enough to share any of that with you guys, and thank you very much for the opportunity. And uh, I hope that you guys can maintain that same spirit and passion that you've demonstrated alive and well here so well for the rest of your careers. So, the nominees for innovation are special thanks to Ted, our programming handler. Without him this had, would not have been possible. Uh, also I want to thank everyone who worked on our box. You know who you are, the ones who painted it and helped us build it. And lastly I want to thank you that loved our game, of course. Thank you and fuck yeah. <laughs> And now, the final award of the night. The one that sums up uh, all the skill that goes into making a game. Total awesomeness, or as of course we say in Leet Speak, the Ownage Award, which will be presented tonight by Tom Abernathy of Microsoft Studios. Ponage. <laughs> uh, first of all, I, I want to echo what the other presenters have said. Thank you very much for inviting all of us. It's been a spectacular experience being able to participate in and uh, enjoy all of the very hard work that you've all done. You're at a very important point in your lives, particularly those of you who are about to leave and go out into the larger world and the larger industry, but even those of you who are just still working towards that point. Um, and it's a time in your life that you will never get back. Don't forget that. Remember to enjoy it. And keep in mind as you graduate from here and you go out to take the things that you've learned and use them in the larger world and the larger industry, that it's very easy both to become too confident out of school because sometimes, you know, it's a small pond and you can get a, a bit of an inflated sense of, of uh, necessarily what your importance in it is, and also not confident enough. So I want to charge you, if I may be so presumptuous, as you go out into the industry, to be what my friends at Riot Games uh, refer to in their sort of unofficial company motto as, as uh, making sure that they are both ambitious and humble. Ambition and humility 
are the two things that you should take with you as you go into the industry. If you can remember those two things and keep them as lodestars by which you're going to navigate your life and your career, you will not go wrong. Here, here. <laughs> And the nominees for the Ponage Award are... say anything I didn't say before. So thank you again for liking our game. And it's still available on cobotsgame.com for you to play. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the award show for the night, the 2013 Gotland Game Award show is over. I want to congratulate you all on having had a fabulous year, worked very hard, done amazing things, and, um, and I've been upstaged by Marcus Ingvarsson again. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> Well, I'm trying to be serious, of course. Um, anyway, goodbye and piss off. Thank you all. <laughs>